Hi, this is Nori from My Service Depot. Today we're going to run through the biggest updates to version 96 of Smart Service. Let's go ahead and start off with estimates in iFleet. Sometimes when you're out performing work for a customer, you might notice that something else may be broken or there's a possible upsell available, something that might help them in the future, but you don't want to make them pay for it right now. You can have your technicians in iFleet create an estimate for that customer from the job. So go down here in the bottom left and I'll hit proposals. From here I can generate a proposal, of course choosing a job type. So maybe I'm going to give them a new generator. I'll hit create. Now I've opened up a proposal created by my technician in iFleet from the field. I can go ahead and add the items that would belong to this. And then when I'm ready, I can hit finalize and I can decide whether I want to send this customer an email of the proposal or have them take a look at it now. This proposal will come back to our office either as an awarded job if you've sold the proposal and they're ready to go ahead and convert it, or if they're still thinking about it, it will come back as an open proposal so that you can follow up with them at a later date. So once the technician has completed his proposal in the field, if he has sold that proposal, we can check this information by going to our home screen. On the home screen, you will see that you have a number of prospect jobs awarded. Clicking there will display any of the estimates created by the field and the customers they were for. These estimates were awarded by the customer, so I can go ahead and come in here, convert these directly into a job, and get it right back out there to perform the work. The estimates created in iFleet can be enabled by giving your technicians allow all permissions in smart service. It's a completely optional feature, so if you want them to generate those proposals from the field or possibly make up sales, that's the way to go. Another great feature that we've added to version 96 is the ability to pause jobs in iFleet. This is a great feature to help you keep accurate time tracking in smart service. By doing this, let's say they're on a long day uh, job, you know, they're going to be there all day. We can go ahead and pause the job, take our lunch. When we're ready to resume the job, we can come back and hit resume. That way we get up to the minute time tracking for that job. We have accurate times back in smart service. So whenever we're ready to pause our job and take a lunch, I can change my current status. I'll select pause job. That will put that job on hold for me and stop the timer running on that job. I can go back, take my lunch. Whenever I'm done with my lunch or my break or whatever the current task was, I can go back into that same job. And I can choose to resume this job. The latest feature that we've added would be new correspondence windows. So if a customer calls in and I'd like to record some information about the phone call that we're having, I can come to the home screen, hit add call, select my customer. Now if I'd like to check this customer's balance on the fly, I can press the update balance button in the top right, which will let me know how much the customer's current open balance is in QuickBooks. I can record a description for what are we talking about on this phone call. and then I can record some call notes. Additionally, if you are making an outgoing call, you can record the time that you spent on the call by hitting the start and end call button. Record your notes as you would like. Whenever we're done, we can hit end call, and that will take me over to the call result box where I can go ahead and start typing. Once I'm done, I can schedule a follow-up call if I'd like and press finalize call to log that call into Smart Service. So all of the correspondence types have been updated in Smart Service. So if we're taking a picture from the field or if you'd like to import an image from your computer, all of those windows have been updated. I'll come in here and grab a picture, which gets added to my job. And here we can see the new template where it shows up with the job this picture is attached to, some information, a caption about the picture, a preview of your picture, and also the file location of that picture that way you can easily copy this and attach it to an email. So another great improvement that we made to Smart Service is the reset quantities to zero after posting feature. 
We found that a lot of customers would set their quantities for regular scheduled maintenance jobs. They'd set the quantity for, let's say, these filters to maybe five. Now, on average, we use five filters every time we go out here. However, that's not always accurate for every single visit. They have 10 systems. I might use 10. Maybe this time they only need three. To avoid overbilling your customers, we've added the option in the scheduling tab of the job to reset quantities to zero after posting, guaranteeing that for every new visit we go out there, the quantity of filters will be set to zero. That way your technicians will notice and adjust the quantities according to how many filters they actually use rather than billing them for whatever we did last time. Another great feature added to this version of Smart Service would be the summary bar improvements we've created. I can go ahead and click on the summary bars under each technician's name on the calendar. On the Smart Pane, that'll display some information about what they have going on today. We can take a look at what percentage of their day is scheduled, the totals for their jobs, how many estimates they have uh, scheduled to them, phone calls, reminders, the hours that we have scheduled them, and the hours that they have left in the day. So, another great feature for our customers that use the alerts in Smart Service. You can now report on your alert messages to see which customers you do have the alerts out for. I'll go ahead and run my report. I can see who currently has an alert, what the message is, and I can decide whether or not that message is still applicable, if it needs to be updated or removed, or to see if I forgot a message that's very important for a specific customer. Also, for our customers performing preventative maintenances or scheduled recurrences for their jobs, whenever you change the main date on a job, so let's say I want to change this one to happen today instead of the first, when I create my recurrence pattern, it will now ask me if I would like to reset the recurring dates based upon the schedule change. And basically what that's going to do is instead of coming up with the first of each quarter, when I hit yes, it will now change that information to match the recurrence pattern that I added. So that'll complete our review of the newest features in our fall 2016 update of Smart Service version 96. If you'd like to see more information about this update or review the full release notes, please visit us at smartservice.com updates.